So you've been coming here for 30 years? Yes, sir. 30 years. Okay, so before Brock was here. What was it like before then? I don't know. I really, I uh, stick to, to this barber shop since I came here. And uh, I love this guy. The reason, he is a perfect guy. With you fighting in on Yelp, I hear that all the time. I get people that come in here that have been going to Travis Credit Union for the past 30, 40 years and never knew that there was a shop here because it's so hidden away in the corner. But yeah, I get a lot of people finding it on Yelp and not knowing that there's an actual barbershop here, even though it's been here for since 1979. This man is a he loves everybody. That's the main key, key of success. That's the reason he's pretty successful during the two years, two years and a half or three years. Four years, last four? week. <laughs> you know, I don't know how. Um, bunch of customers, he attracts a bunch of customers to his shop. Young to very old guys, and I get a whole slew of people, and I get from Asian to black to Hispanic to white guys that do them all. I cut them all. I do feel some guys that are weary about me cutting their hair at times, but that's the way it is. In San Francisco, Oakland, uh, Walnut Creek, all the barber shops, they are high price. And you put it on uh, how much? 16 or 17 dollars? 17. $17, it's uh, really cheap. I became a barber because my brother is a barber. And after graduating San Francisco State, did not have a job, and he gave me some money to put a down payment for barber college. While I was looking for work, I went to barber school. Eventually found a job and kept going to barber school on the weekends. And completed my barber school. Alex always told me when I bought this shop, as long as I stick around, I will do well with my attitude. The best. <laughs> Quit barbering and took a job in San Francisco at Virgin America Airlines. I did that for about a year and really missed just interacting with people at the barbershop. And so I quit working at Virgin America and went back to my brother's barbershop and was working there. And I, feeling the need to break off from him, I went on Craigslist and found this shop for sale and called the guy up them, you know, how much your haircuts, how much is your rent, how much is the overhead at the shop, and we became talking, and it sounded like a pretty good deal, and so I came up, checked it out, and about two weeks later, I bought it. This is my home, this is what I intend, what I envision to do until I am no longer. My favorite part about working here is seeing my patrons that I build rapports with, and also meeting the new people that come in. That's what makes me come to work, and knowing that it's gonna be something different every day. I think it's the, the personable service that we provide, trying to remember people's name, how they like their haircut, and just making them feel like it's a community barbershop where they can come back to. I just enjoy doing this. I love this trade. Um, and I hope I can do it till the day I die.